Hello, everyone. Hi, Brody. You're caping for Ziggy, as usual. Good to see you, dude. Um, it's actually really funny. I was just looking at the stream is starting soon screen, and uh, I really read that in Lugia's voice in Pokemon the Movie 2000, if you're familiar. Just like, the stream is starting soon. Uh, which is just delightful to me. Um, also, there's a detail in this game. I don't know if we'll be able to hear it, but every now and then if you're outside in a route for a long time, you can hear the cry of a Pokemon that's in that route. Like, I just heard a Nummel. But it's a very, very cool detail. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We, um, I kind of showed you over there... There are those Team Magma grunts, and they are blocking the cable card to get to the top of Mount Chimney. Mount Chimney is a volcano here in the Hoenn region. And here in the Fiery Path, beneath the volcano of Mount Chimney, we found our newest team member, Guzzle the Torkoal. So we are going to pop through here. Very, very cool little pathway here. There is a strength rock, but we can't move that yet. Um, let's see. <laughs> With HM cut, you can cut grass. That's right. Um, that's another cool little secret. That's uh, all the way in Gen, Gen 1 you can use. You can do that. Um, let's see if we can teach any of our Pokemon strength. I'm pretty sure our boy Fudge Cake can learn it. I think that'll be a good move for him to learn for now. Um, we might end up giving it to a more permanent team member, but we'll give it to Fudge Cake for the time being. Absolutely. Um, here, we will get rid of Sand Attack. That's okay. And we have uh, Mud Slap on Ron if we really need to lower some accuracy. Um, but how's everybody doing? I'm doing great. Um, it's, been, it's been a pretty good day. Um, as I've been... For the past couple days, we are getting close to the end of the year for our kids. Um, we only have tomorrow and Friday. Um, our eighth graders, I'm trying to get both of these people at the same time. Okay, good. Um, our <laughs> Ziggy, <can't... laughs> my life is a lie. I know, dude. Um, lie Noon can only learn strength in this game. Uh, Ziggy can't actually learn it. But, uh, like I said, tomorrow is actually the last day for our 8th graders because they have their, like, it's not a graduation, it's kind of like a moving on ceremony. Um, and then, uh, we just have one more day on Friday with the, uh, 6th and 7th graders, so, um, it'll be good. Um, it'll be real chill, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, no more. I'm gonna use Mud Slap on it because it could hit us with a pretty devastating magnitude, but it just decided to use Ember against our Fire type instead. So that was some pretty, uh, pretty beautiful AI movement. Um, <laughs> one thing I did realize is I picked some pretty slow team members here in Torkoal and Iran. Um, but you know, we're vibing, we're vibing. Uh, we have Grovile. Grovile's really fast. I am happy. There are a lot of grass trainers, honestly, in this region, so um, it's really nice to have a fire type for kind of like some of the battles in between. All right, that's going to be less good. Um, there we go. Hopefully this can knock this out. It cannot. All right, so we're still, we're still vibing here. Wow, they really just want to attack Torkoal with not very effective moves. I love it. Hmm. Now you need to get Ziggy to level 20. Um, yeah, Ziggy, uh, Zigzagoon evolves at level 20. Um, it evolves into Linoon, which we talked about. We'll definitely encounter Linoon later in our playthrough. It's, it's a cool Pokemon. Um, do, 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 do. I feel like there are a lot of instances in which you can get paralyzed in this game. Um, ah, here's Slugma. Brody, you joke about this all the time. Um, Slugma 
is a Generation 2 Pokemon, but you famously cannot catch it in Johto. You can only catch it in Kanto in those games. So a lot of times, people's first experience seeing a Slugma was in Generation 3, which is neat. I mean, it's not that neat. It's, uh, it's interesting. Because you would hope that you'd be able to find it in the game that it originated in, but alas. <laughs> Your life is an even bigger lie. That's true. Um, people think the same about Skarmory, because we're about to go to the route where you can find Skarmory in this game, and um, Skarmory is a heavily featured Pokemon um, on some other trainers' teams, so it's very visible in the Generation 3 games, but it is not in the Generation 2 games. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> I just keep ruining your life, Brody, I'm sorry. Um, as a matter of fact, um, we are about to get to the, maybe one of the most iconic routes in all of Pokemon, um, which I'm very excited to show off. Um, these are Pecha Berries, these heal poison. And next to them are the Rost Berries, and these heal burns. All right. And in this game is where they really kind of began to define um, kind of like what berries are known as today. Because originally in Gold, Silver, Crystal, they were like Poison Cure Berry, Regular Berry. They had different names. And in Generation 3 here, they kind of really came up with what they would be. I haven't really showed this off yet. So if you try to go in here, there's my repel. If you try to go in here, the sandstorm is vicious. It's impossible to keep going. Listen to that music. Whew. Sounds like there is a crazy sandstorm going on. So this is not an area we can go to yet. That is another reason why we have to go through the fiery path. Um, <laughs> what's up, Reef Seeker? <laughs> What a very interesting first thing to say, but thank you for being here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Brody, do I have news for you? Um, okay, so I'm gonna give Torkoal a potion really quick. So we can fight this next trainer. There we go. And I believe this is a cool trainer. I don't remember what he has. Um... All right, show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. How you doing, Reap? Um, uh, starts with an Electric. I can nearly guarantee that we are going to get paralyzed. And there it is. <laughs> uh, that is one thing I really, really hate about Electrike is you get paralyzed every single time. Um, oh, you saw the videos on uh, YouTube, thank you. Um, thank you for checking that out. I really, really appreciate that. Um, let's see. Oh, you're doing great, awesome. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing good too. Um, I was just talking about how I am, I work in a school and it's getting close to summer vacation, so I am thriving. Um, <laughs> Ziggy! <laughs> Ziggy's a folk hero at this point. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's going to be really great. Friday is the last day of the year. Um, so I'm going to be living large and in charge for a while. And some of our kids are having a really nice end to the year, which I'm pretty happy about. Um... And I'm, again, I'm trying not to use Piccolo too much here, but, um, you know, that was just a favorable matchup against the old Whalmer. Um, oh, Vanillite is one of your favorite Pokemon. Is it really, Brody? Um, that is not a common opinion. Um, I didn't like it when I first saw it, but I, I've kind of, like, come to appreciate it. Um, oh, absolutely, Reed. Um, <laughs> it's adorable. But I think someone said that in the Pokemon universe, ice cream 
is modeled after Vanillite. It is not like an ice cream Pokemon, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, you eat your Vanillite. They're, they're, good, they're good in that way. Um, oh, one great thing about Burn is that it halves the attack of the Pokemon you are fighting, so this Makuhita will not be able to use its Vital Throws very well. And Torkoal is a pretty generally tanky Pokemon. Um, especially at this point in the game, it's like very hefty. Um, and he had a good little, good little varied squad. Um, uh, what about Guts? Ah, that is a good point. Um, Guts is a cool ability if you are, what is it? If you're burned, paralyzed, or poisoned, your attack goes up. Um, which can turn, you know, a bad situation into an advantage. Um, Chunky Boy, that's right. So this guy's interesting. What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know, I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make it your own room? Sure, dude. So this is the TM for the move Secret Power. Um, it is actually not that powerful of a move. I think it's like a like a 70 power move. That's a normal type. I think it can paralyze your opponent. So it's pretty good. Um, so, but the main purpose of secret power is that you can use it to make like a little clubhouse, basically. You can do it in these trees. There are these little rock indents that you can do. Um, there are some big bushes that where you can make your little clubhouse. They call it a secret base. Um, and I don't usually do them, but I think it'll be pretty fun on stream to uh, kind of build up our secret base. So this woman's very useful. Uh, we kind of have a long journey to our next place, and it is just a nice little heel house. <laughs> all right. So we are all healed up, which is lovely. Ooh. And I can show this off, I believe, for the first time. See how there's that little mudslide? I can't go up it. But when I hop on my mock bike, woo! There I go. <laughs> I'm up the up the incline. Okay, and this is one of those little indents in a rock wall where you can build a secret base. Um, have I seen that fan game going around? I don't know which one, dude. Ah, and up here we have a karate guy. Let's go ahead and fight him. There we go. Um, and as you can see, there's some other little spots where you can make a... Oh, a roguelike but Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, oh, I remember the other day, I did kind of start playing it. Um, yes, Poke Rogue. That's it. Um, I've heard about this. Um, and I did, I did kind of start playing it, oh man, a couple weeks ago. Um just to give it a try, and it was fun, um, but it was just being weird with my computer. I have an old computer, um, like an old laptop. Um, and I kind of forgot about it, but yes, I have, heard, I have heard about this. I know it's kind of like a big, a big deal currently. Ooh, Guzzle is trying to learn Body Slam. This is an excellent, excellent move. I'm gonna get rid of Smog. Um, Smog, it is nice because it can poison often, but Body Slam is just a far more consistent move. Um, Daisuke. Awesome. There's that bike music. And down, oh, yes. That kind of slides us back into the sandy area. The thing about the mock bike is that you need to give yourself some runway, because as you can see, when you first start, it's not as fast, and then it kind of speeds up. Um, I believe she gives us a berry. Yes, she sure does. A raspberry. Lovely. Oh, why is curse a question mark, question mark, question mark move? Um, well, I don't know why they decided to do that. Um, if curse, if the move curse is on a ghost type Pokemon, um, it has a completely di different function than it would on other types of Pokemon. Um, I believe it is a ghost-type move if it's on a ghost-type Pokemon. Um, but on other types of Pokemon, it will raise your attack and defense. 
um, with the cost of lowering your speed. Um, but for a ghost type Pokemon, it will lay a curse on your opponent and slowly do damage to them um, as the battle goes on, which is really cool. Um, but I, I don't know why they decided to do it that way. <laughs> You haven't said your catchphrase enough, Brody. I am actually gonna... Mm, yeah, I'll pop down here. This lady is always nice before we fight that trainer. Um, and we are going to add our next team member today. I know, that is pretty weird. I agree. Um, again, I don't know why they did that. I know there's some kind of like... Um, kind of like... I don't know, forgive me, I'm not super educated on it, but like a Japanese myth or something about laying a curse with a nail, um, which is why like um, the move curse on a ghost type uses a nail. Um, um, so we're gonna fight this lady. I believe, I remember I was watching like a speed run at some point, and I think this trainer is mandatory in Ruby and Sapphire. But in this game, we could have passed her. I just felt like fighting her. I don't know why. I was just feeling, feeling, feeling zesty. Excuse me. So we're going to Piccolo here. Again, um, we can take some super effective damage from Wing Attack, but we should be able to defeat Wingle. No problem here. Hmm. Love to see it. Um, having Torkoal, a Pokemon that resists the fire moves in the fire gym, I think is going to be very useful to us. Um, and here we can try out our newly minted Body Slam. <laughs> the people want to see Ziggy. I will, I will, I will throw, I will throw Ziggy out in this battle. Um, <laughs> I guess you're right, Brody. Um, there we go. See, Body Slam is just an excellent move. She has a Super Potion, though. Wow. That is not something that you often see from a random trainer. I believe her last Pokemon is a Roselia, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Um, all right. We'll get Ziggy out there. Maybe get Ziggy to level 13. Um, all right. We'll try some Headbutts. Don't worry, I, I won't let Ziggy die. Hopefully, oh boy. <laughs> I might have spoken too soon. Don't die. Ooh, Ziggy holds on. Um, all right, so I'll, I'll bring Torkoal out now. Uh, where are you? There you are. Um, yes, I knew we had the ace in the hole guzzle. Ooh, a critical hit. Um, <laughs> Ziggy is your god and lord and savior? I understand. I understand. Ziggy's just so versatile. He's picking up picking up items, learning HM moves. I I do love Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon is a lovely Pokemon. What did you think of the Galarian Zigzagoon? I think it's pretty cool. Thanks, cool trainer, Brooke. Um, okay, so, um, before... He's just a little guy, it's true. Um, we'll heal Torkoal with a potion. Okay. So, I'm just gonna pop a save real quick. <laughs> so, here is one of the most iconic routes in all of Pokemon. Listen to this music. So, this route is covered in the ash that's coming down from Mount Chimney. The music's incredible, the ambiance is so cool, and when you walk into the grass, it, it comes, there's like a little puff of the, uh, of the ash, which is so cool. Um, and here is where you find Skarmory, actually, in this game that I was talking about. Um, and there's actually someone further along the route. Here's Spinda. Um, Spinda's a new Pokemon. 
Um, it is a single form normal type. It's very kind of like, uh, what's the word? Confusion oriented. It's kind of a trickster. Um, oh, I need to not have Guzzle in front because I can't escape and that's making me sad. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm gonna try to skip some of these trainers. There's some over there. Um, my common ref refrain, I will come back to them, I promise. Um, I'm actually gonna use our, our other repel for now. So we can run around the grass freely. Um, later in this route, there is actually someone who will give you something called the Soot Sack, um, where you can collect the ash um, from this route to create items. Um, which is pretty neat. So I'll skip her. All right. There we go. <laughs> Brody, you are just throwing out uh, all the stops. Um, so here, if we look, this is the person that will give us the soot sack. Um, turning volcanic ash into glass items. And some of these items can heal status. Um, but this guy is huff buff. He's always coughing. <laughs> so he's going to give us the soot sack. We might be able to make a useful item out of one of these. Um, some of this ash. <laughs> In English, it's God. So I do actually want to show this trainer off. Um, I'll just have Ron in front. If we go here, oh, there's a little guy hiding in the ground. He's hiding under the ash. Um, and you have these kind of ninja boys littered throughout the region. Um, and they uh, will pop out at you sometimes. I, I'm gonna, oop, he used self-destruct. Good thing Ron resists that very nicely. That is another, I knew this guy had some coughings. Um, so that's a reason I threw Ron out there. So we'll just keep him out there if he's gonna keep using self-destruct. So I believe coughing has a new, very, very useful ability that I'm gonna show off. Um, I believe so. Yes, I tried to use Mudslap, but coughing makes ground moves miss with Levitate. That is a big ability kind of going forward in the franchise. And it's great for coughing because it is a poison type and gr uh, ground is good against poison. Um, <laughs> and they're just exploding. This is the explodey, the explodey ninja. And he's got one more. And we'll just get to it here. <laughs> it's blowing up too. When will they learn? Ron's a tank. Cannot be stopped. Um, oh, hey, Mom! How's it going, floaty prick? <laughs> With honor, I admit defeat. Well, where was your honor when you leapt from the shadows, Mr. Ninja Boy? All right. Um, and here, there are some hidden items. This is a really good TM, the TM32 for double team. Um, they're all scared of Ziggy, you're right. And yes, they like all, they literally all exploded. Uh, down here is a secret item that you might not see, a nice hyper potion. And I always like these trainers because when you go off the screen, they like become discombobulated because they're usually running in like perfect unison. But as you can see here, they're all, <laughs> they're all messed up. But what if, what if I run down here more? Can I fix them? Uh, to an extent. <laughs> Uh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> All right. Here we are in Fallar Fallarbor Town. It's kind of like a town where there are meteorites. Oh, I found a nugget. How cool. Um, and there is, there's a kind of like a satellite on the top of this house. And this is where Professor Cosmo works. And he, um... Is going, he went to Meteor Falls, and Meteor Falls is a place that we're going to go. But first I need to sell this nugget and some other stuff. 
There we go. I would love to buy some more repels if we can find any. Do we have an escape rope? No, we don't. Let's see. Let's get, let's, let's get two escape ropes. Excuse me. Ah, super repels. You love to see it. I am going to buy a nice amount of these. We'll buy 20. And then a couple super potions as well. Great ball or two. We got two. A nice productive shop. You'll love to see it. Um, okay, so I'm going to heal in this Pokemon Center. There's another battle tent, by the way. Just like a little battle facility. Um where you can test your squad in competitive battling. Um, when you do competitive ba battling, you have to pick a team of three in this game. Um, and sometimes they can be more difficult because you can't use items. Um, it's just kind of a more advanced way to battle. This is the Move Tutor's house. Um, it's very interesting because if you forget a move, you can give the move tutor a certain item and they will help you relearn it. Very useful for this game. Um, and here, if we pop in here, uh, my big brother's the fossil maniac. He loves fossils. Um, and this guy gives you dig, so you can dig by your uh, brother. <laughs> you have to feed your level five Rattata six X speeds. Um, I do want to pop in here, though, because it's neat. Because you have this big, long tunnel. And this guy is just digging in there. Um, <laughs> the fossils around these parts all belong to me. Um, ooh. So he just gave us a little bit of information. We might be able to find a fossil um, in that little area where we couldn't go, where it was, there was a sandstorm. Maybe. Maybe not. Um... Oh, this guy gives you the TM for Roar. Lovely. We're not likely to use it, but hey, it's nice to have. Um, and we will do more double battles like this one when we get our next team member, which is coming up right about now. Um, I will use Guzzle here. Um, I'm very excited to get our new team member. Um, I really was thinking about using Swellow for this playthrough, which is like what Taylo evolves into, but it's also very, very basic, you know? Um, that is some, something that someone playing Emerald for the first time is likely to do. Um, so I wanted to do something just a little bit off the beaten path. Um, as usual, I wanted to have a good mix of, you know, traditional team picks. These person berries, by the way, um, heal confusion. But I wanted to find some more untraditional picks as well. Um, oh, here we have a low tad, which I believe we can find earlier in the game. And I'm actually going to speed up a little bit. I'm going to turn my music off. Oh, I made a mistake again. I put guzzle in the front. Um, I don't need to do this. Let me go ahead and put Piccolo. I mean, if you're wondering why Guzzle can't escape sometimes, um, it... Ah, Lombre. This is the evolved form of Lotad. Um, being able to escape is based on your speed. And Lombre has really... Not Lombre. Torkoal has very low speed, as it is a tortoise. Um... Here we go. Swablu! Swablu will be the new member of our team. Um, if we have any nickname suggestions, please let me know. Um, okay, one more. The Blue. Ooh, that's a great... What's up, Tech? Rain, also a good name. The Blue and Rain. Ooh, maybe I could combine those. Um, let's see. Cloud Nine. We do have Cloud the Wingle already. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw a Great Ball because it's a great Pokemon. Blue Rain. Love it. This Swablu will be known as Blue Rain. Blaine. <laughs> oh. You both like Blaine? Okay, we'll do Blaine. I love it. Um, okay. 
this Swablu will be known as Blaine. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for confirming, Brody. Love to see it. So, Swablu is our newest team member. Um, let's see. I am actually, I'm going to have to hop back to follow Brody. Fallarbor Town. I never really know how to pronounce it. Um, Fallerbor. There's a lot of L's and R's in there that I don't necessarily know how to say. Um, but yes, as I am always want to say, that is why I'm always I always be saving, always be saving trainers. Um, because again, if I want to pick some more untraditional um, or more non-traditional team members, um, they're going to be a little later in the game. So I kind of got to get through some story stuff to get to some of the squad members I want to add. Um, <laughs> glad we're all in agreement here. Absolutely. Oh, this is interesting. This is Lynette. She is actually the person that developed the PC in this game, which as we know, I have great appreciation toward her. Um, and she is, um, here in, uh, this Pokemon Center, but it's actually interesting. If you never talk to Lynette, um, she, it, this will always say someone's PC, but if you do, I think you have to talk to her at her house. If you do, um, it will be... Lynette's PC. I'm actually, I'm gonna get rid of Cloud for now because it's another flyer. Um, oh no, is the stream choppy for you? It doesn't see, it doesn't show that it would be choppy for me. Interesting, I'm sorry guys. Um, bye Cloud, that's right. Um, let's see, hopefully that gets better folks, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, because I don't have any drop frames here. Yeah, I've, I've definitely... I've had trouble here and there with, like, internet connection stuff. It, it's been pretty rare. But it should be good on my end. So I hope I hope that, that improves for you, Tech. I'm sorry. Um, so, let's see. Oh, awesome, dude. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you. Um, let's see. So for now, I'm going to get into some of this story stuff. Um, and we can fight some of these battles along the way. Because we have a new squad member to get up to speed. I probably will have to switch train Blaine a lot. I will save this. Let's see, I got that off my checklist, perfect. Nippler! I love the way that fisherman music starts in this game. Ah, Barboach. Um, this is a new Generation 3 Pokemon as well. Um, it is a water and ground type. So grass moves are going to destroy it. It's a lot like Quagsire. And water sport, as you can see, it just weakens the power of fire moves, um, which is A-OK. -okay. And we just put it to sleep, so we are going to swap into our boy Piccolo. Boom. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah. And we are going to annihilate it with a bullet seed. Good night, sweet prince. Alrighty. So lucky for us, there are a lot of trainers on this route. Um, that we can continue to train Swablu. Um, I'm actually to the point, we skipped a lot of trainers down by like Mauville City and Slateport City. We will probably get into those a little bit. Um, maybe not this stream, but we'll probably backtrack and try to defeat some of those to get Blaine up to a better level. Um, here, we'll just go, we'll go Ron. Because we have this fisherman. Piccolo is way above the rest of our squad in levels, but you know what, man? He's just super useful. 
Zigzaton. Zigzaton is French for Ziggy. Zigzaton. We do have a favorable matchup here with Nuzly. Um, Barboach does, yes, does have the super effective water gun on Ra. That's not going to be great. Do -do. Folks, thanks for being here today. I really appreciate it. You always, oop, you always make the Emerald streams really fun. I I have had a really, really good time um, streaming Emerald for you all. Um, I feel like this this has been some of the most fun I've had um, streaming Pokemon so far. Um, Zigzag is German for Ziggy. How about that? I probably pronounced that wrong. Oop, there we go. Okay, water sport. That is fine. And that should do it. Lovely. And another good thing about double battles is you really get the opportunity to uh, train some lower level Pokemon if you kind of like pair it with a higher level Pokemon. Um, ooh. Jiguzaguma. Jiguzaguma. Jiguzaguma is Japanese for Ziggy. There we go. I am lightly learning Japanese. I think I've told uh, the community here that before. <laughs> and Ziggy is English for God. Absolutely, Brody. Um, do, 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 do. So I'll do my best to clear out this route. Um, and like I said, we will get a little bit into some story stuff, which I'm pretty excited about. I am going to skip through this just a little bit because we have these Magikarps and we should be able to peck through those pretty quickly. Ah, but Goldeen is different. Um, oh, baby! A critical hit horn attack, yes. Blaine is showing his freshness. Um, but yeah, I haven't really, I haven't really described, um, Swablu too much. Again, as you can see, it is a new Generation 3 Pokemon. Um, we have not encountered it in either of our playthroughs thus far. Um, it's very interesting because it kind of looks like, I believe it's a flying normal type, um, but when it evolves, it becomes a flying something else type that you maybe wouldn't have thought. Um, which is very exciting. I'm going to let Guzzle take this one. Because we still need to get Guzzle up in levels as well. Um, and that's the reason why I really wanted to get good old Swablu. Alrighty. See, even though it's super effective, Guzzle is just tanking. Tanking that water gun, baby. Taking it. Fisherman Clothe. Alright. Speed back just a little bit to heal the squad. <laughs> Thank you, Brody. I, I, I appreciate being in that esteemed list of important figures. Um, so let's speed back just a little bit. All right. We starting with Blaine? Yes, we are. I'm really surprised Ziggy has not picked up another item yet, though. Speaking of Ziggy. Do, 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 do. There are a ton of trainers on this route. Um, do, do. That is not doing anything. And rollout is really going to hurt, so we are going to immediately swap to Piccolo. All right, I, I wouldn't dare pressure him, Brody. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. So sorry. Um, absorb would be nice here, but it's just such a weak move. There's not really much you can do with it. 
um, once you get to a certain point. Like, against Watson, it would have been completely useless, essentially. Um, uh, I still can't stop thinking about that Watson fight. That's, that's one of my favorite fights that I've had on stream, for sure. Um, it was so fun. And we were so, like, <laughs> not in a good place <laughs> to fight him. And we really had no business beating him. I really had to abuse the potions. All right. Luckily for us, Lombre is part grass type as well as being water. So our peck will be nice and super effective. Yeah, it, it is unfortunate. Blaine does not have a particularly good move pool. Um, when you first start out, um, okay, but it will improve with time, certainly. We're just gonna have to be patient with the little guy as he continues to grow. He's not really gonna be one of the stronger members of the squad, that's for sure. There we go. See a picnicker, Nancy. I think there's an item over here. Hidden one. Yes, Hidden Revive. Love to see it, baby. All right. Um, let me give our good friend um, Blaine a not super repel. How about a super potion? There we go. Um, there are a couple fights here I'll skip for now. Um, ooh, I actually don't remember what this item is here, but it's one of our first, yes, excuse me, one of the first vitamins that you see in the run. We actually had a, um, HP up earlier, but I'm going to use this protein. I'm actually going to use it on our boy Blaine, so we can try to get that, uh, peck a little bit stronger. Um... Let's see. Oh yeah, Ziggy's so good that our dad uses his eggs again. That's true. All right. Uh, this is kind of a cool trainer. Um, I just always remember him. Fight him. Um, it says, if you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. And he has a slugma for the campfire and a wingle to put out the campfire. Which is just, that's cute, man. That's cute. That's cute. There we go. We're two for two on Sings. Love to see it, Blaine. Um, this Slugma has an ability called Flame Body, um, where if you use a contact move on it, um, it can burn you. So I'm going to go ahead and swap to Guzzle here. Um, there are other similar moves like that, like I've talked about Effect Score. Roselia famously has an ability called Poison Point. Which functions a lot like Flame Body or Effects Bore, but it, you guessed it, poisons the target. Um, Alright, so here's that Wingle that I spoke of. We'll go back into play. Doo. Ah. And so Blue is just such a cute Pokemon, too. <laughs> I know, Brody. Let's see. I hate to see Supersonic there. Let's, uh... I'm just gonna pick a little. Alright, that's not great, but we're tanking that pretty well. We should be able to hang in, defeat the Wingle. Mm. The way these multi-hit moves used to work was if you got a critical hit on one, you would get a critical hit, like, the whole time, um, which was crazy. Um, but here, you can just get a critical hit each time, so it's a little less overpowered. Uh, righty. There we go. Kindler Bernie. What a guy. You set my spirit on fire. Thanks, dog. All right. So we have these two trainers here, and I want to make sure we fight them at the same time. Whew! There we go. Because that one picnicker likes to turn away. <laughs> we 
we'll, we'll see. We'll see if we can get him in the game here, buddy. Um, all right. So this is great. We can use a nice peck here and a nice mud slap here. Even though Geodude definitely does float, you would think that Geodude could... Ah, here's interesting. Lombre used nature power, and since we're on, like, a mountainous area, it turned into rock slide. Um, and lucky for us, it hits both Pokemon, or else that would have probably KO'd Blaine. Um, Blaine's actually in a really bad spot here. Um... All right, we'll get Ziggy in. And for now, we'll try to headbutt the long break. We'll see if Ziggy can get anything done. She really is the, ch the, the people's champion. Do, do, do. double up here on the Lombre. The Geodude has that. <laughs> Let's see if she can. Uh, Ron avoided the attack. I'm hoping that... Oh! Oh, not quite. <laughs> Ron is going to finish off the Lombre, but Ziggy probably will get a level. There we go. Up to 13. Oh, it's going to learn Sand Attack. Is there anything we want to get rid of? Get rid of Tail Whip. It is really nice um, when you do train Zigzagoon, it gets that headbutt early. That's very helpful. Um, let's see. We're going to double up on Meryl. Do do. Do do. I know, six levels lower. All right. And I want to take out this Meryl as quickly as possible. It is really annoying that it's using defense curls. I'm going to speed through this a little bit. Um, because once we can get... I know this trainer has a Graveler, so that's probably... A time where we're really going to want to use um, Piccolo, especially now because it's just beefing up its defense. There you go, Ziggy. There it is, Brody. Ziggy got the knockout. Um, all right, and that does nothing, of course. Um, we are going to swap for Piccolo. I'm actually going to swap Ron for... Blaine. So we want to get Blaine's level up a little bit. Ah, oh, yes. Just keep keep doing that defense curl. This bullet seed will rip right through that. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Pairing a weaker Pokemon with your stronger Pokemon really helps it gain levels um, when it is too weak to do so. And like I said, oh, I really, really thought he had a Graveler. Wow, in my memory, this guy has a Graveler. Um, but uh, let's see what Piccolo can do. This will be neutral, thankfully, because Numble is part ground type. Do, do, do. There we go. Perfect. Picnicker Angelina. What a name. Okay. Lovely. We have another hiker here. I am... No, I'll probably just end up switch training. Do, 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 do. Yodele, hee -hoo. We have a nice yodeler. Alrighty. Ba -da 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 do 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 and here I'm going to have to switch train, because Blaine has genuinely nothing to deal with a Geodude. And that rock throw would have hurt very badly. 
Easy peasy. Does this guy have a graveler? Someone over... He does not. Someone over here has a graveler, I swear. Maybe it's one of the trainers I skipped down there. Here we go. Alright. Uh, this Machop... Okay. We don't resist fighting moves because we're part normal. I'm really hoping that it just, like, uses Leer again, maybe. There we go. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. This will get Blaine another level. Um, boom, baby. There she be. Mmm. There we go. Love that. Ah, Fury Attack. That is not... <laughs> Not a particularly useful move, but I will get rid of Growl. And it is does have the same type of attack bonus. It's not the worst thing that could happen. There we go. Defeated Hiker Lenny, and he's just still trying to yodel. So here, we're going to show this off. This area is so sick. It looks a little different in Ruby and Sapphire, but it looks great in Emerald as well. Meteor Falls. Listen to that music. Oh. So great. As you can see, you have like all the cool purple, you have like the cool um, kind of like rock formations here. Oh, wow. Ah, yes. I used the repel, but Blaine is not over level 18, and that's so annoying. I hate this. Okay. <laughs> so. You have the cool rock formations there. Ah, we have an item. We got the X attack. Nice. So I wanted to show this off um, before we called it for the night. When you pop in here to Meteor Falls, there's not much we can do. But we can see what's going on here. Hee hee hee. With this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney Will die. I didn't know, I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can have your way with the world. And here is where we see the first, like, clash between Aqua and Magma. They even have different music. Uh, it's too much trouble to deal with you all. So they, Team Magma, is off to Mount Chimney to, uh do uh, some sort of funny business with this meteorite that they found in Meteor Falls. Um, let's see, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. You're one odd kid. You're one odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They're rivals to the sea-loving Team Aqua. So yes, as we've spoken of, Team Aqua's trying to expand the sea. Team Magma's trying to expand the land. Um... And it sets up for a very, like, clear clash between the two. Um, and we're going to see a good bit of both of them throughout our playthrough, and I'm excited to show you. Um, good job, Ziggy, that's right. I, I'm Cosmo. Ah, we went to his house earlier. Um, Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteorite away. And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? I feel bad for her. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Ah! There was that Zubat. There was that little cry I was talking about that can happen just in the in the world. Um, yeah, Meteor Falls, so sick. Really, really cool music. And as a matter of fact, we're going to call it there, folks. This has been a delight. I was so happy to add Blaine to the squad. Um, really deal with some trainers, get into a little bit of story stuff. And uh, I will see you all probably on Saturday um, with more Emerald. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. I know Reap came over from YouTube. Thank you, Reap, for stopping in tonight. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you can like and subscribe. Helps me out. Um, even though, you know, I just do this for fun, but I want more people to see it. So there you go. And 
With that, folks, I'm going to pop a save here because I have anxiety. And yes, bye, Brody. I'll see you guys later. Peace.